Hi, my name is Stefan Herlitzer. Hi, my name is Lydia Masek. We are from the Ruhr University in Bochum and we present the following paper. Vertebrate cone opsins enable sustained and highly sensitive rapid control of GIO signaling in anxiety circuitry. G-parent coupled receptors are involved in a variety of different physiological functions and disease states, including anxiety and depression. Consequentially, most of today existing drugs to treat these diseases target G-protein coupled receptors. G-protein coupled receptors couple to different intracellular signaling pathways, including the GIO pathway. The GIO pathway is involved in signaling processes, including the fast dampening of neuronal activity, by activation and inhibition of ion channels, and slow modulation of enzymatic cascades, such as the ERK pathway. Unfortunately, Current drugs and molecular tools to investigate and manipulate these intracellular signaling pathways in health and disease have various limitations. Including low specificity and limited temporal and spatial control. Therefore, we have to develop new tools to directly modulate neural networks and intracellular signaling pathways with high temporal and spatial resolution to understand the role of the signaling pathways in health and disease. In our study, vertebrate cone opsins enable sustained and highly sensitive rapid control of GIO signaling in anxiety circuitry. We developed two new optogenetic tools to selectively activate the GIO pathway. We use two opsins from the vertebrate eye. These opsins are involved to detect blue light in mice and red light in humans and are called short wavelengths and long wavelengths opsins. The experiments are based on an abroad we developed and published in 2005 where we used rhodopsin from the bovine eye, the photopigment from rods to control the GIO pathway in the hippocampal neurons and spinal cord. When we compared the different opsins from rods and cones, we found that fast membrane delimited intracellular GIO signals activated by the vertebrate cone opsins in comparison to rhodopsin do not decline in amplitude during repetitive stimulation and can be activated for minutes. In addition, activation of the GIO signals is wavelength specific. When we compared these new tools to other optogenetic tools, such as the ultralight sensitive channel rhodopsin variant CATCH and HALO rhodopsin, we found that the vertebrate opsins are much more light sensitive. We next reasoned that an important potential use of the vertebrate cone opsins would be the combinatorial stimulation of GIO responses in specific neuronal locations. We therefore tagged both opsins with the C-terminus of the 5-HD1A receptor, which targets the cone opsin to subcellular locations where 5-HD1A receptors are found. 5-HD1A receptors are serotonin receptors and have been identified as drug targets for anxiety and depression. To investigate, if vertebrate opsins are superb optogenetic tools to investigate the intracellular signaling pathways in locations where 5-HD1A receptors are localized in vitro and in vivo, we express the cone opsins in the dorsal rather nuclei of mice, a brainstem region with high expression levels of 5-HD1A receptors. We first demonstrated in brain slices that the cone opsins induced GIO pathway mediated hyperpolarization of neurons with wavelength specificity. Activation of short wavelength opsin with blue but not red light hyperpolarized neurons, while activation of long wavelength opsin hyperpolarized neurons with red but not blue light. We next performed in vivo electrophysiological experiments to show that GIO pathway mediated modulation of action potential firing can repetitively be controlled by light stimulation in living animals. The final question was then, can we use this method to modulate emotional behavior in freely moving mice? And indeed, light induced GIO pathway activation in the DRN relieves anxiety in mice in two different anxiety tests, that is the open field and novelty suppressed feeding test. Thus, vertebrate cone opsins can modulate neural activity in heterologous expression systems, in brain slices, in vivo and in behaving animals without declining response amplitude, with fast activation and deactivation kinetics and with very low light intensities. Since the activation of the GRO pathway in dorsal rough and nuclear animals, relieve certain aspects of anxiety, this light-gated cheap coupled receptor approach might be applicable for new therapeutic strategies.